So you saw the thumbnail, you read the title, and you clicked on it. So that tells me that you're getting ready to install or looking to install one of these right here. This is a Sensi Touch Smart Thermostat made by Emerson. Hey, I'm Darren. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be installing a thermostat made by Emerson. I've done one of these before. The setup was quite easy. Uh, it's very easy to install. Um, it is made with the end user to do their own work and do the installation and the setup themselves. Uh, if you're careful and uh, follow a few, few little steps here and there, you should be okay to do this on your own. It is quite easy. So let's open this thing up and see what's in it and show you exactly how, how easy they made it for you to do. Believe me, they were thinking about you, the non-professional AC do-it-yourselfer, uh, because these are so easy to do. So let's open this thing up and take a look at it. All right, so here's what we got. Comes wrapped in this nice, pretty plastic thing here. Get that out of the way. I should have done that before I started recording. Got this nice little um, piece of tape on here to keep it secure. I should open that up before I started recording. Uh, and this is the thermostat. Uh, it is very nicely packaged. Uh, now, one thing you do need to determine before you get ready to do this, and I'll show you how to determine, is whether you need a uh, C, C wire adapter. C wire stands for common wire. That's it. It's that easy. Um, I'm going to tear this thing up to get it out of here, I'm sure. I have determined that on this one, I did not need a C wire. Uh, you got your, uh, your anchor kit and a jumper. I did not need a jumper on the last one I did. I'm sure I won't need one here. Uh, this is your your face plate. Uh, it's very clean looking, very nice looking thermostat. Uh, you've got your instruction manual here. And inside that, you have your instructions on downloading. Oh wait, this is the instruction manual here instruction manual the first thing they want you to do is download the Sensi app uh, the setup through the Sensi app is incredibly easy you just scan that that QR code right there and uh, and the setup just pretty much does itself you just follow the instructions while you're going along and it's quite easy um, but yeah this is the instruction manual you can see it's very not a whole lot of pages in there uh, this is your base plate uh, that's what it looks like with all your letters now, if you're doing a heat pump, you need to determine whether you have a heat pump or just straight heat uh, heat cool. Um, the one I did last time was a was a heat pump, and I had to change configuration in the advanced setup. We won't be getting into that on this one. Uh, so, yeah, this is it's pretty straightforward. This unit I'm doing is pretty straightforward. But that's what your wiring base looks like right there. Um, all right, well, that's it. That's all that's in the box. Got a few other things in here. Oh yeah, this one right here. The stickers. This is what you need to mark your wires with. When you disconnect your wires, I recommend you do it three different ways. I recommend number one, taking a picture of the wiring. Number two, writing it down on a piece of paper. And number three, use your stickers. And you could drop your phone, you could take a picture, drop your phone, break it, and you won't be able to see the picture. You could write it down on a piece of paper, wash your shirt, stick it in your pocket, wash your shirt, and you don't have that anymore. But if you put these stickers on there, they'll stay there. So that's why they put this in the box, the stickers uh, that you label your wires with. It's that easy. So anyway, let's go look at this thermostat. We'll get this thing done. I mean, you just, you're just you gonna be amazed at how easy this is. All right, see you at the thermostat. All right, so there are a couple of different ways to determine if you have the C wire or not. Remember, I was telling you that if you need, if you don't have a C wire, a common wire, that you're going to have to have a C wire adapter. I do not need a C wire adapter. One way to know: if you pull the batteries, and your thermostat stays online, then you probably have a C wire. That easy. Another way to tell is if you pull the head off your old thermostat and you have a blue wire or any wire on C. Another way is if you have a voltmeter and you put it between C and R 
and you have voltage there this one has 27 volts if you have anywhere around 24 volts then you have a common wire those are three easy ways to tell if you have a common wire or not pull the batteries if the batteries stay if the thermostats the display stays on then you probably have a c wire if you have a blue wire coming in connected to c or any wire coming in connected to c most commonly the blue com blue color is common now you might have had an ac guy that did the uh did the install that did not know that blue wire is commonly common and he might have tried to reinvent the wheel by using some other color you never know so it's always good to check this wire so now the next step before we go any further is to kill power to this now how we kill power to this we go out to the unit there is generally always a disconnect at the unit to uh, take the power off the unit which will take the power off the thermostat and that should take the power off the thermostat so we're back here at the thermostat we need to determine for sure that we killed voltage took voltage off the thermostat C to red no voltage so we're good we're good to go we're not gonna if you get hit, if you get hit by 24 volts, if you get shot by 24 volts, it is not going to hurt very bad. Uh, the main, uh, the main threat when you're messing with 24 volts is uh, shorting it to ground or shorting your commons together, and uh, you wind up uh, tripping your transformer, and then you're in a in a different situation. Then, oh, all right. Next, we're going to take these wires loose and uh, and label them as we go. All right, so uh, so we got them all labeled. Uh, if you'll notice uh, your color coordination here, and this might be fairly common knowledge, I'm not real sure, uh, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Uh, your color, your colors of your five wires coming in are red, green, yellow, white, and blue. Uh, so in every situation, uh, it, well, I say in the most common situations, your red wire goes to your R terminal. Your green wire goes to your G terminal. Your yellow wire goes to your wire terminal and your white wire goes to your W terminal. Ter w terminal. That way your uh, colors are matching up with your terminals. You've got red, R, you know, so forth. Uh, and your uh, common is generally blue. I've seen some people use black uh, if the wire didn't have a blue wire in it. In this case, everything was just normal. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop this uh, Pop this base off, and hopefully our holes will match up, and I won't have to mark, mark uh, knock any new holes. That's what my hope is. All right, so my holes did match up. Now, if you look right here, there is a nice level. If you get that bubble right in the middle, thermostat's level. So uh, that's it on that. Uh, so uh, one cool feature on this, most of these thermostats are in a, uh, in a hallway, uh, somewhere where you can't really uh, see all that well. So uh, uh, Emerson, since he thought about this, Emerson thought about it, and they put a little backlight on the back of it so you can turn it on, you can see better. I thought that was fantastic. All right, so where our terminals are laid out here is we have green. G terminal. There's a little button right here you depress with whatever you want to use. Stick the wire in there. Give it a nice little tug. That's done. Uh, we're not using O. That's for heat pump. OB is for heat pump. If you have two stage heating, that's where uh, your second stage is going to. Uh, we don't have uh, two stage heating, so we're going to put white is in W. Um, yellow is in Y. Common, which is your blue, goes into C. And then 
red goes into RC for cooling. I uh, think Emerson has a um, put a jumper between RC and RH. It's not right. Uh, let it let us know down in the comments so uh, so nobody makes that mistake. That's it for installation on the um, on the actual base. That's that easy. Now I made sure I turned my light off. All right, you have a plug right here. If you're looking at it, and you can't really determine which way is up and down. It's got Sensi on top, which means that's going to be your up. But it's got this plug. It just plugs in right there, and uh, that's all there is on that. Just gonna make sure it plugs in real good. And there we go. We'll put power on it. Start doing a setup. All right, so I already have the Sensi app on my phone uh, because I've already put one of these in. I put it in, put one in at my house. Uh, so I'm gonna hit add. This is a, uh, a touch, new install. Is currently mounted. It's gonna tell you to turn power off, which you've already done. It's gonna tell you uh, how to take the old thermostat off. Just done. Now, which terminals did we hit? RC. These are, they want to know which terminals that you land on in there. So RC, common. Up. Oh, nope. Wrong. WE. I one. And G. Then you hit next. It is electric. Next. Put the base back on there. Turn the power back on. We're all way ahead of them right now. Next, uh, they want you to hit your, hit the menu button. Uh, go into Wi-Fi. Uh, they want to see which one that you have. We have this one. It's going to tell you to hit manual setup. Then there's going to be a connect. And you go to, got to have your Wi-Fi on. And you're looking for Cincy 28. Connect. Next. And it asks for this pin number right here. Now this is where you connect to your uh, connect to the um, the internet to connect to, to the uh, Sensi Cloud. Now I'm going to connect this to the Sensi Cloud. I'm going to enter my uh, the Wi-Fi and the password, but I'm going to do that in private. So I'm going to uh, tell you that uh, you're con configuring the thermostat. Uh, it takes a little bit to do this. It takes just a few minutes. Uh, it says of successfully connected your thermostat. Uh, now I want to name it. Uh, do a custom name and I'm going to call it mom's house. Next, locate me. All right, I went through registration. We got the warranty all registered. Uh, so now we're going to see if we can control it. Uh, we go into uh, cool mode. Run it up to about 75 degrees was where my mom likes it. And there she's going. So uh, my mom likes uh, a warm house. So we're gonna set her at about 78 degrees. Now what's really cool about this uh, about this thing, you can kind of customize your customize your um, your screen a little bit. Uh, you can take certain things off if you don't want it to show. You can go in here and set a schedule. Uh, you can determine uh, uh, how, if you want the, I like for my thermostat to go off and I'm not going to stand in front of it and look at it for more than 30 seconds. And if I'm standing there looking at it, then, uh, then I'm touching it. Uh, let's see the black glow. That's that. Uh, if you turn that on, that's that light. So if you like the way that led looks back there, you can leave that on. I'm not going to leave that on, uh, advanced setup. Now, if you were doing a heat pump, uh, set up HVAC equipment. This is where you would determine what your reversing valve was do. What you would need to do is you would need to put it in heat mode. Uh, that's that OB, uh, OB terminal. Uh, what you would need to do is de determine whether you are heating 
in the current situation. If you're not, then you need to uh, change it to B, and uh, that'll make it, it reverses the way your reversing valve operates. Uh, dehumidify, if you got a dehumidification on your unit, you could use that, which we don't here. We we'll probably need it. Uh, you can go in here to home screen content and you can turn off things. You can turn off the time of day. Uh, the disc, uh, you can change this where you would change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Uh, indoor humidity, you can turn that off so you can't see the humidity level anymore. If you don't care about that, I don't know why. If you don't have dehumidification, it's kind of cool to kind of cool to uh, be able to see what it is, but but it's a very easy thermostat to use. Uh, one really cool thing about it, and I did not know it had this when I bought this, but if you go to cool mode, if you go to mode and put it in auto, uh, then uh, you can it will heat and cool. It will automatically change over. So we're going to run my mom's heat up to about seventy four. Uh, and that's where she'll be comfortable and she won't ever have to worry about touching this thermostat It will do what it's going to do and um, That's it. All right installations complete All right, so that completes the installation of the Emerson uh, Sensi touch smart stat. Uh, you saw how easy it was. Uh, I highly recommend this product uh, Like I said, I have I've only used it for a few days. I got one at my house the installation on it is super easy uh, so, um, yeah, if you're looking for a smart stat, uh, this is a, this is a good way to go. Uh, I have, uh, try, I have changed on mine at the house. I've changed the set point while I was away from the house, uh, testing it and making sure I had good connection anywhere I go. I can change these thermostats. Uh, I haven't got into whether I can set up any alerts or anything on my phone. Like if it gets to be 85 degrees in this house, I need to know, uh, cause this is my mom and she lives here by herself and I need to know if she's getting hot, but I can open the app up and look and see what mode it's in and all that kind of stuff so if you have uh you know older parents that are living alone and uh and you need to be able to see what their what their air conditioner is doing if they're too hot or whatever i highly recommend it i'm gonna feel a lot better because there's a lot of times she's called me it's hot in my house uh how well how long has it been hot in there you know i mean so i highly recommend it uh anyway all right thanks for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one bye